Good morning, church, and welcome to the September 16th edition of The Musings. My name's Dave, and I'm affiliated with Community Christian Church at Carillon. It is always my hope that the content of these little videos will lead listeners to ponder things, things about God, things about themselves. I happen to believe that if you seek the truth, you will find it. I think that's what Christ was talking about when he said, seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. Well, a couple of weeks ago, that pondering happened for a listener named Paulette, and she wrote some of her questions in the comments. And one of them in particular was a doozy. She asked how it was possible that Jesus was able to remain sinless up until his baptism, the time at which he received the Holy Spirit? That's a powerful question. And before I give you an answer, I want to make sure again, make clear again, the fact that some of this stuff is way above my pay grade. This gets into the nature of sin, the nature of Christ Jesus, the power of God, stuff I probably have no business even approaching. But these videos have always been, in a sense, about important things seen from the viewpoint of a layman. If you want expert analysis from a trained theologian, you generally won't find it here. But I think there is some value in examining the thought processes of an untrained seeker of the truth. I think that can be relatable in a way that might be helpful. So let me give you my non-certified take it with a grain of salt, analysis of Paulette's question. In order to redeem mankind, it was necessary for God to become a man. And for that to happen, God the Son laid aside aspects of his power. He then lived as a human being. Not all-powerful, not all-knowing, human, limited, but Scripture teaches that Jesus was both fully man and fully God. That his nature was not changed when he set aside the use of his power. Now the churchy term is hypostatic union. And it means that Jesus is understood to have had two natures. A divine nature and a human nature. So it seems to me that when Jesus was tempted, as every human is tempted, he was able to overcome that temptation because of the divine element. Something similar to that even happens for you and me on a much lesser scale. There are times when we are tempted and we find within ourselves the ability to resist that temptation. We call it our better judgment. <laughs> Sometimes we consider some of the possible bad effects of giving in, or we realize that giving in might damage our reputations or our relationships or our self-image. So we refrain from drunk driving or committing adultery or lying to the police or hurling an insult. We find the strength not to sin within our own nature. Now it doesn't always work. Our human problem is not that we can't resist temptation, but that we don't. Our nature, our better judgment, is not strong enough to always prevail. Christ's was. His dual nature enabled him to both feel the temptation, to know the pull of sin, and yet to resist that pull. In other words, he could be tempted because he was human, he could remain sinless because he was also God. Again, and as always, if any of this helps, great. If it doesn't, ignore it. It's just some guy musing. God bless you all.